All right, so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to take the files that you've created to make your website and we're going to upload them to a server. And at that point, once we've done that, you will have a website that's live on the World Wide Web. Now, in order to upload files from your desktop, uh, and here I've got them in a folder called Web1, to the server, you need some software that's referred to as an FTP client. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. And there's a number of different uh, types of FTP clients available. Uh, there are some free ones, and there are some that cost, oh, maybe $30, $40. Uh, the one we're going to use tonight is called Fetch. It's available only on the Mac. And um, you can download it and get a license to use it free if you're a student. Uh, you need to contact the folks who uh, make the software, and they will send you the password if you can uh, prove that you're a student. So that's what we're going to be using tonight. Um, there's also free open source software called FileZilla that's available for both the Mac and the PC. And uh, that works similarly. It's just going to look a little bit different. The interface is different. So let's go ahead and use Fetch tonight and get that website live. Uh, so let me see here. I'm going to go down and there's Fetch. And uh, it opened up a new connection. And let me just uh, cancel that for a minute. Um, you can see up in the menu here, under File, New Connection. And there we are. Now, there's information already filled in because I've used this before and it memorizes it. But I'm going to delete that and fill it in so that you can see what we need to do. Um, all FTP software asks for the same three pieces of information in the same order, even though the words that are used are sometimes a little bit different. Um, Fetch calls this host name. Uh, other software may have a slightly different name, but this is the name of the server where you're going to be uploading the files to. And in this case for our class, that's the server name. Username. Um, in this case, the one that I've assigned is spring11, A-W-D-S-G-N, underscore, S-P-R-11 uh, for this semester. By the way, these are all case sensitive, so they must be exactly as you see them here. And the password, again, also case sensitive. Click Connect. And you'll see that now we have a list of folders, and uh, hopefully you're going to see your name on that list. Um, so we are now connected. You can see up here that we are connected to the server. There's its name right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and this information, by the way, is available on Blackboard if you click on Video Tutorials. You'll see there's a screenshot that shows you the information that needs to be filled in. All right, so we're just about ready to go. I'm going to use the folder called Test to do the demo. You'll use the folder that's got your own name on it. Double-click the folder to go inside of it. Notice there's nothing there because we haven't uploaded anything yet. I'm going to open my folder on the desktop. And there's my website, Images folder with images in it. Pages folder with pages in it, and the index outside of those folders. I'm going to shift click to select everything and simply drag it up into the window. And if I move this aside, you can watch down there and you'll see the files as they're uploaded. This happens pretty quickly. All right, so it's complete. Now, if we open these, we'll see there's the files. We can go back. Open this one by double-clicking on it. There's my page files. Go back. There's my index files. So that's it. We're live and we're on the web. Um, 